Good morning children. Today is the first Friday of this month of August. We have come to the new month of August. You know there are 12 months in a year. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November and December. So there are 12 months and this week we have moved from July to August. So it's bye bye July. It's bye bye to July and we are entering August. Okay. In August we always do first week, the first Friday we will always do the science experiment. And today's science experiment is about the day and night. Okay. Day and night. We are going to see how we get this morning and night. Every day you get up in the morning, how do you know it is morning? You see the sun, it is bright outside. When it is bright outside and you can see everything clearly, we call it morning. Is it not? You call it morning or you call it daytime. Morning or daytime. And by evening it becomes dark. Sayangala mana it will become dark. And then to, as it progresses towards night, it becomes absolutely dark. So what do you all do? You go off to sleep. You can't do anything in the dark, right? You can't be playing. You can't go out and play outside. So you go off to sleep because it is dark. And where? what happened? You can't see the sun. That is why. So when you see the sun and it is bright, you call it morning. And when you don't see the sun and it is not lit up, it's very dark outside, you call night. Okay? Moon will be there in the night. That's a different thing. We are only talking with regard to sunlight. Okay? Sun's light, when it falls on the earth, we get daytime. Now, let me tell to the M1 children, they don't know about this. M1 children, this is our earth. Okay, we live on this thing called earth. Okay, this is a planet. Okay, and this planet is called earth and we live on it. Where do you live exactly? There are so many places here. There are so many places. M2 children know all these continents, is it not? North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia and Antarctica. We live right here. That is our India. Can you see that? It is in Asia. That's our India and we live in this tiny triangle here. Okay? That's where we live. Now, so this place where we live, this beautiful planet that we live is called as Earth. Okay? And all this blue things is water. What you see when you go to the beach. Okay? That's why when we are living here, we go to Marina Beach, we see water. Because this triangle you see it is near the water. Okay. So this is our earth. Okay. This representation of the earth we call globe. Okay. M2 children know that this is globe. Okay. This is our earth. So please assume the globe is our earth. And this red candle that I have put here will be the sun. Okay. You, can you see the, I have lit up the candle. Okay, so this will be the sun. Okay, so I am going to put the sun here to explain to you what happens. Okay, the, before we go to the sun, I want you to know that this earth which you live in actually spins. Do you know that? See, I am spinning it. I am helping you spin it. It is spinning, spinning, spinning. Okay. Is it not spinning? Yes, it is spinning. Okay, so in real, our earth is spinning. And this movement is called, this movement of moving like this is called rotation. It is a very slow movement. You cannot feel the movement. It, slow, it moves very, 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 very slowly. It takes about 24 hours to complete one circle. That is, if it is, uh, let's say India is here, right? One full circle, it takes about one full day. So, slowly it rotates and comes. 
Now I finish it off in 2 seconds. But the earth, the real earth, it takes one full day. From morning to until the next day morning, it takes full day. This movement is called rotation. Can you say what is it? Rotation. Rotation. Okay. Repeat. Rotation. So the earth is rotating. Rotating. You also can just spread out your hands and rotate. Okay. You love it, right? Rotating like that. Yeah. So you also can rotate. Now this is the movement which gives you the day and night. Okay. I'm going to explain you how this day and night is formed. We have the sun standing in one place and sun is a big ball of fire. Okay. It's a huge ball of fire. Okay. You cannot see it directly with your eyes. It's going to hurt your eyes. It's such a huge ball of fire and it gives out light. Fire means it gives out light, right? So when this light falls on the earth, you get light here. Is it not? When this light falls on this side. Now you can see right now there is a tube light there and the light is falling. You will notice that this side is slightly brighter. Is it not? And this side is dull. This side is brighter. That's because the light is falling on it. So when the sun's light falls on the earth, one side will be bright. There is no sun on this side. So this side will be dark. So the dark side is called night. Okay. And the brighter side is called day. Now what happens? It's not always day here. I told you the earth rotates. So if the earth rotates, all the continents on this planet get their sunlight. Okay. The seas, the oceans and the land, everybody will get their sunlight. Sunlight. Can you see them getting the sunlight? Yes. And the earth always moves only in one direction. Okay. Not any direction. It moves in this direction. It is called anti-clockwise direction. It moves in this direction. Not like this, like this and all. No. Always in this direction only it rotates. Rotate, rotate, rotate. Very, 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 very slowly it rotates. Okay, I am attaching this video for you to see. Just take a look how the earth rotates. Can you see that? So, did you see that the earth moving very slowly and the sun's light falling on it? So, one side of it had bright light and the other side did not have. The bright side is called morning and the dark side is called night. Okay, shall we do a small experiment and see? We are going into our environment, our max room and I am going to close up all the windows, pull the curtains down and we are going to make the room absolutely dark. And I am going to put a torch light for sunlight and this globe there. Okay. We will see how it goes when we use this torch light. Okay. Please uh, understand that the torch light is your sun. Okay. When, and we will see when the sunlight falls on it, how the earth is in the dark. Okay. You have to remember that this entire sun and earth is in a dark universe, okay? The universe is a completely dark place and we are all in it, in a dark place and we get light only from the sun, 
okay there is nobody giving us light only the sun gives us light if there is no sun we will be living in the dark universe okay so shall we go to our dark universe are you ready okay let's go to the dark universe okay children what you now see is a dark environment assume that our universe is dark like this and suddenly the sun's light shines can you see yes uh, now the sun's light brightens up everything that is around it okay and that's our earth let's assume that the sun here is going to be the torch because sun is a source of light the torch is going to be our source of light so the torch today or the flashlight is the sun can you see the sun's rays falling right on the earth can you see that now when the sun's rays is falling on one side it is bright how about the other side take a look on the other side how is the other side it's very dark okay gently look around as you come towards the side of the sun it's very bright and also on the other end it is completely dark because there is no light away from the sun or the opposite side of the sun is completely dark you can't see anything there and as you come towards the sun you will see that it's getting brighter and brighter and brighter okay so that part of the earth where the sun's rays are falling is daytime and that part of the earth where the sun's rays does not fall and it is absolutely dark is called the night so very clearly you can see day and night one half of the earth is day and the other half of the earth is night okay now imagine that our earth is spinning okay i am going to give a spin for the earth so right now africa is having day time but on the other side asia is having night slowly it is beginning to dawn for them and they are getting sunlight and when india and asia is getting the sunlight the america the united states of america is completely dark on the darker side meaning when india is having day time the north america is having night okay do you understand see the earth is moving but the sun does not move and as it is moving the all of the earth gets the sunlight little by little so children did you see was it exciting is it not yes we were in this dark universe and then i switched on the flashlight the torch which was the source of light okay for us the source of light is sun i cannot bring sun into the room so i used a torch light and i showed you how when it falls when the sun's rays when it falls on the earth the portion of which which gets the light will be morning and the other half of the earth which does not get any light will be dark is it not it will be completely dark there is no light on this side which means what this is night okay you got it okay children so now you will take your worksheet which i have sent to you and you are be going to write this inside the, in this uh, tracing lines okay i have written there while the earth rotates the side of the earth which receives the sunlight is morning and the other side of the earth is night okay morning and night 
I know you will not be able to read it. It is okay. But just write it in this and color the picture here. I want you to color the sun and let the sun's ray fall on the earth. You see our earth? Yes. And the other half is dark. It is night. Do you understand children? So, the, uh, we actually get the day and night because of the earth's movement of rotation. Please understand how do you get it? Because of rotation. If it is not going to rotate, we will not have day and night. It will only have only this side of the earth will get full time only this side will get. And you will be coming to school in the morning and you will never go back home. You want to go back home? Yeah, then it has to become evening, right? So if it has to become evening, means the earth has to rotate, okay? Otherwise, we are going to have full day sunlight. No, we don't want it. We want to go back to home. We want to go back and sleep with our mommy and daddy. So let the earth rotate. Okay, children, do your activity and observe the world around you. Bye-bye. See you next month with another science experiment. Until then, bye-bye.